Hello, everyone. In this video, I'll present our work, Adversarial Item Promotion, Vulnerabilities at the Core of the Pen Recommenders that Use Images to Address Code Start. My name is Zhuran Liu. This is joint work with Martha Larson at Radboud University of the Netherlands. In this work, we look at security vulnerabilities of recommender systems. More specifically, we focus on recommenders that use images to address code start. We introduced an adversarial attack named adversarial item promotion attack. It pushes the recommendation ranking of a code target item in visually aware top N recommender systems. So the first question is, what is a visually aware top N recommender system? First of all, a top N recommender system creates the list of top, top N most relevant items for each user. So given the user, the item generates this ranked list. A visually aware top N recommender system leverage images to generate recommendations. You might have heard of a content-based recommendation. Such a system would use only images. A visually aware top N recommender system uses both images and the information about interactions of users with items. Visually aware recommender systems are particularly important because they address the fundamental challenge of recommender system, code start. Code items are items with which user have not yet interacted. The visual content of items can be used as item information until items have accumulated uh, enough user interactions. So in this paper, we propose a new attack on visually aware recommender system, the adversarial item promotion attack. Uh, the effect of attack is to promote the target item, or in other words, move it up worth in the list of recommended items. Here we see the target item is marked uh, with a check. The item is not relevant for this user. We see that appears in an appropriate position, uh, relatively down, uh, far down the list. So here on the right, we see the effect of AIP. The item no longer appears in the right position for this user, rather it appears high in the list. The effect is also called item push. In this position, the user is more likely to click the item, although it's a less relevant item. Our attack promotes the item by leveraging uh, item image. We're going to use uh, adversarial images here, but they are not the standard images from computer vision literature. Rather, they are created especially to deceive visually a very recommender system. So I'm going to tell you um, the take home message in advance. These are our main points. In the rest of the talk, I will give you the details. The first is uh, attacker against uh, visually very regular system could be either than assault, and even a low tech, low knowledge attack can pose a threat. Protecting system against uh, this attack is very challenging. So let's go to, the, let's go to details now. Uh, in the introduction part, let's start with collaborative filtering. It is a method that makes automatic prediction about the interest of the user. So the information about interactions of users with items is leveraged to build the system. Uh, this matrix is uh, shown on the left side. It's used to train this collaborative filtering model. And for each user, the system predicts ranked list of items by relevance. The predictions are made only based on this user item matrix. Collaborative filtering is one of the most popular framework for personalized rec recommendation due to both efficiency and effectiveness. Recently, with the development of uh, deep learning, uh, except user interaction information, visual information can also be combined to improve recommendation. So item images can be directly leveraged together with user item matrix to provide personalized uh, recommendation. And as we introduced, such systems are called visually aware recommender system. So let's move to the recommender system as security. The first question is, is who are the most uh, likely attackers in the e-commerce uh, domain? The answer is the merchants. So how, how do they attack? Previous work mainly focused on attacking recommender system by poisoning uh, user item interaction data. And adversary need to create fake user item interaction information. Then the recommender uses information to build the recommendation model. And the result, fake data may lead to a push in a built model. In our work, we don't manipulate this user item matrix. Instead, as a merchant, we carry out the attack by changing the item image. As a malicious merchant, changing item images is much easier and possibly much cheaper than creating fake user interactions. Target item can be easily promoted by adversarial item image. And based on the image content, 
the visually aware recommender system will predict the target item as high relevance in the recommendation list. The effect of a IP attack is stronger in the cold start scenario. Uh, no user item inter interaction information is available for a code item. So the collaborative filtering model is not available at all. No recommendation can be made. The recommender system will still need to provide good recommendations to users because it impacts both user experience and the progress of interaction accumulation. As we discussed, the visually aware recommender system can help address this fundamental challenge. But here, it also opens the door to malicious merchants who can easily leverage it. So how does this attack work? Uh, let's first define the attacker model. In the attacker model, the attacker is able to manipulate the item image. The intent could be either uh, uh, compromising the integrity or availability. The scale could be different. We also assume that the attacker may have different knowledge. Uh, in this paper, we instantiate this uh, a subset of the combinations defined by the attacker model. We assume that the attacker is a malicious merchant. We also assume that the attacker has a push intent to compromise integrity. Also, only one item image is changed per time. Uh, in the knowledge at dimension, we assume high, medium, and low knowledge attacks. So let's move to the details of AIP. Uh, we first assume that attackers who have access to all chain embeddings could be only the insider. The insider has full knowledge of the system. So we call our high knowledge attack, uh, insider attack, or INSA. INSA optimize the target item image with respect to all user embeddings to achieve high relevance score. Uh, move to attackers who only have access to pre-trained visual feature extraction models. We call this middle knowledge attack, uh, expert attack or expert, because it requires the attacker to have transfer learning knowledge. Expa promotes by manipulating the visual feature of the target item image to resemble a popular item image. Or let's say here, the popular item items are called hook item. We define this hook item as items that are popular or sell well in a platform. Both INSA and XPA here are not standard out of several images from computer vision literature. Rather, they are created especially to deceive visually aware recommender system. We also introduce a low knowledge, low knowledge simple attack, semantic attack. It manipulates the semantic content of target, uh, target image to resemble the hook item. So how item images are, are manipulated by AIP? For INSA and XPA, perturbations are constructed by, by, by optimization. The image on the left is a clean image uh, of a sneaker. The constructed perturbations is shown in the middle. By adding them together, we get the promoted image on the right side. Now the recommender uh, thinks that the promoted image shows a pair of very popular genes in the platform. The way how SEMA work is very different from INSA and XPA. So how can we manipulate the semantic content of this shoe to resemble the popular hook item genes. We discussed two methods here, namely composition semantic attack, C SEMA, and natural semantic attack, N SEMA. The left picture is C SEMA where two items are displayed side by side. The right picture is N SEMA where the shoe is pasted to the foot part of the image of the genes. So we have to be aware that uh, SEMA images can also be made by taking uh, images of target item with hook item in a professional photo studio. So let's put all IP tags together and see what do they look like. The figure is divided into four columns. The leftmost shows the original ones. We can see in the second and third column inside the XPA. Note here that promoted images with fewer artifacts like here uh, are also very effective. We can also see that uh, promoted images by SEMA look very natural. Okay, let's look at the results of the experiments. So we use two datasets in this paper, Amazon and Tracy. Here, uh, Tracy uh, is very interesting because uh, image and the items are very, are very unique. So it has a huge co-star challenge. And it's a, it's a practical case for AIP attack. We look at our recommender uses in paper. So to better simulate a practical system, we use a two-stage setup. As you can see here on the right, the first stage is VPR, second stage is the visual rerun curve. And in this slide, you see our experimental setup. We're going to compare the ranking of a cooperative item uh, of the ranking, uh, with ranking by adversarial item. We test three different IP attacks. 
against the three uh, representative visually aware recommender system. And we also evaluate uh, uh, AIP against as a adversarially trained model. And we also check out a couple of uh, image compression based differences against the IP. So first let's look at uh, integrity. Uh, here we look at HRT5. So uh, those are for adversarial items. We would expect that for uh, here example, uh, DBBPR or Amazon example, if the tech is successful, the original HRT5 will be much lower than HRT5 for an under tech. This is indeed the case uh, with the inside tech being the largest one. Also, uh, we find that uh, even CSEMA has a surprisingly uh, large impact. Uh, let's also look at availability. Uh, this is how uh, this attack affects other non-adversarial items. Still, let's look at uh, DVPR on Amazon. So what we observe here is that for inside tech, non-adversarial items uh, are also impacted because their HR5 goes down, but it maintains the same level for XPA and the SEMA. So this is very interesting observation. Uh, moving to AMR, adversarial training. One would expect that HR5 here should be maintained, but indeed, look at the numbers here. Um, we see the same big jump that we got for INSA. So the other behave very similarly, and this is very interesting. So except looking at uh, the uh, hit rate, we also find that our AIP attacks are more effective than classification-based attack under a similar threat model. Uh, larger perturbations are more effective. Also, systems with shorter embedding lengths are more vulnerable. So for this, please check our paper for details. Uh, here, we want to zoom uh, on the figure four in our paper. And it shows you a Tisney space, how items move when under attack. We see original item here in this space under attack all items move to the other side. Uh, why it happens? Because uh, this is close to where the hook item is. And you can see in SEMA, the hook item, uh, in this case, genes, is co-depicted co in the image. And uh, the attack moves all items to the area where genes are. Finally, it comes to the compression-based defense against the IP. We would expect this to be helpful against the IP attacks. So if they work, we see stars and triangles representing Tracy and Amazon here at the left for, the, for BBPR. But for other ones, uh, we see really high compression ratio or bit depth, or bit depth before the tag losing effectiveness. So moving to the conclusion and output. Uh, let's look again our take home message, uh, as we mentioned at the beginning, that attacks against visually very recommended systems could be easier than we thought. Even low tech, low knowledge tech can pose the threat. Protecting system against out of third tech is very challenging. Uh, let's have a little bit uh, of insight and outlook here. So it's important to remind you that always think threat model through before like a starting a security project. Also semantic attack here is low tech, uh, low knowledge attack, but effective in a recommended system case. So think out of the box. So simply incorporating on the fly adversary information into model cannot guarantee a robust recommender. Um, and in the future, we also need to look at multipliers. So getting out of the stack uh, is an important direction to go. Uh, the last point is AIP attacks are not limited to e-commerce domain. So in the end, all references in the talk are listed here. If you have any questions, you can talk to us during the conference or drop us an email. Thank you.